The connection between meat and cancer has been a huge discussion over the last few years. It all started in 2015 with the World Health Organization concluding in a statement that red meats are probably carcinogenic to humans. Of course, newspapers and other media outlets picked up on this and often misrepresented the actual data to come up with crazy headlines. Now, this video is not about whether or not meat causes cancer. That's a very complicated discussion for a different video. Instead, I want to help you minimize your exposure to those compounds in meat that are believed to potentially cause cancer. Basically, I will show you how to play it safe when preparing your meat. You see, many of the cancer-causing agents that give meat a bad rep are not inherent in the animal muscle itself, but rather the preservatives added to meats and the cooking processes which they undergo. That means at least part of the issue can easily be avoided by adhering to safer cooking practices. The first and most important advice I can give you is to avoid cooking meat at high temperatures and also to avoid charring it. As you probably already know, cooking meat at high temperatures, for example on a grill, leads to browning or charring. When this happens, certain chemicals are produced, called polycyclical aromatic hydrocarbons, PAHs, and so-called heterocyclic amines, HCAs. PAHs are created when the meat's fat melts and drips onto the grill or cooking surface. They can then rise up and adhere to the meat's surface again. HCAs, on the other hand, are formed when amino acids, sugars, and creatine react at high temperatures. Like PAHs, they have been found to be mutagenic to DNA and can promote cancer growth. The easiest way to avoid both is to use lower temperature cooking methods and not to overcook meat in general. Avoid flame flare-ups because fire shooting up around your meat greatly increases the chance of HCA formation. You can also marinate meat for 30 minutes before grilling as several studies found that marinating meat leads to fewer HCAs. And optionally, you can also choose leaner cuts of meat, simply because leaner cuts will need less cooking time and cause less flare-ups. In general, the cooking methods that create the highest level of carcinogens are those that use high and dry heat. This includes pan and deep frying, grilling, broiling, barbecuing, and smoking. On the other hand, cooking methods that create the lowest level of carcinogens are those that use low and moist heat including boiling, stewing, poaching, and steaming. Just to give you an example of what I mean by low temperature cooking, the USDA recommends an internal cooking temperature of at least 160 degrees Fahrenheit for ground beef, which is 70 degrees Celsius. The next advice I can give you is to purchase nitrate-free and uncured meats. The most common meat sources of nitrates are found in pink meats such as ham, pork, and bacon, due to them being great preservatives. The reason you should limit or avoid nitrates is that when paired with amino acids, they can form nitrosamines in the gut, which could be carcinogenic due to their ability to cause DNA damage. If cutting out nitrate meats from your diet is not an option, at least eat them together with vegetables. The vitamin C in vegetables prevents a good deal of nitrosamine formation which is also why eating meat together with vegetables has a lower associated cancer risk than only eating meat. And lastly, you probably also want to limit your exposure to meats loaded with antibiotics. Not just because the antibiotic use in agriculture seems to be contributing to the growing prevalence of antibiotic resistance, but also because some antibiotics and even pesticides in meats can promote the formation of nitrosamines, which I just talked about. So if you can afford it, try to go for meats lower or free of antibiotics, which in most parts of the world means organic meats. Of course, taken together, this video was not meant to scare you in any way about your meat intake. And it does not mean that you need to stop eating meat. It just means that you should pay attention to the way you prepare it. Really, the most important advice I can give you when it comes to meat preparation is to not go crazy with the cooking temperatures and to avoid burning it. Couple that with a healthy and well-rounded diet full of vegetables and you will be on the safe side. 